What he began drawing in 1937 was a long series of sketches of a figure he called Il Gibbo. Il Gibbo was a creation of a grotesque nature who was obviously meant to be Mussolini and who was the result of a series of suggestions and influence that in Zancanaro's mind blended into this Mussolinian figure. And Zancanaro drew more and more of these sketches as the war went on. I think the period when he drew most of them is between uh, 1941 and 1943. The top one is uh, a sketch from 1943 which depicts an aging, decrepit, naked Mussolini who is grabbing onto a chair that is clearly not a throne. It just looks like a, a wooden uh, kitchen chair. We can see that the figure is tired. Uh, the figure, I think we can say, more or less looks masculine, uh, although it's not entirely clear if he's human because we've got one hoof and one foot. Um, the Jibbo figure is wearing a, what looks like a sort of net G-string, which is filled with tiny figures of naked women. So clearly what we've got here is a, a suggestion of the old, lecherous dictator who is somehow drawing to him and stuffing wherever he wants young female flesh. We can also see at the back of the Jibbo's head two other heads which look a bit like a, a younger Mussolini. They're also deformed. One of them seems to have only one eye. Uh, the other one has a misshapen head. Uh, as with many of Zancanaro's sketches, it's difficult to decipher the exact meaning of each of them. But I think it's interesting that the two heads at the top of the sketch are looking away in opposite directions, while the seated figure is looking directly out at the spectator. The suggestion is that somehow Mussolini the dictator was omniscient. Um, he liked to think or create the impression that he was ubiquitous, it could be seen everywhere in pictures, in newspapers, on newsreels, and he traveled very widely. But also there was the sense the dictator as surveyor of everything, the dictator who knew everything that was going on. And I think in that sense, what we're being uh, shown here is that even at the very end of the regime, and of course Mussolini was deposed in July 1943, the dictator is still able to control and see everything. There's also a hint that he hasn't lost all his popularity. Uh, if we look at the very top of the painting on either side of the sketch, sorry, we can see um, a suggestion of applause of a crowd. There are speech bubbles, both of which say, long live Jibbo, and that is the title that is usually attributed to this sketch. There is a sense of an echo of the crowd, perhaps. Uh, the crowd is not visible in the picture, but the echo of its chants, of its willing the Mussolini figure on, are still there. So we're presented, I think, here with a sad, decaying sketch of a dictator still just in power, still just commanding a little bit of support, but falling gradually play, uh, prey sorry, to the weaknesses of the, of the flesh.